The Trudeau government refuses to tell Canadians just how much they are spending, or rather wasting, hiring outside lawyers to fight provinces, veterans, First Nations, kids, and even journalists in court. Today's story comes to us by way of an order paper question asked by Conservative MP from Alberta, Chris Warkington. He compelled the government to tell him this. With regard to taxpayer-funded legal representation since November 4th, 2015, has any cabinet minister, including the prime minister himself, retained taxpayer-funded independent legal counsel? And if so, what was the matter related to? What was the rationale provided to the Department of Justice to authorize the independent legal counsel? What was the name of the independent legal counsel? What was the total cost of the independent legal counsel? What was the hourly rate authorized by the government to pay for the, yes, independent legal counsel? Why were government lawyers not used instead of independent legal counsel? Now, I would love to know the answer to this because some of these legal fees surely definitely involve Rebel News and our ongoing battle with the election commissioner. You can see all the details, documents, and even Ezra's secret recording of investigators in our fight for Ezra's right to publish a book that hurt Justin Trudeau's feelings at SaveRebelNews.com. And you can pitch in to help with our legal costs there too. But it's not just us. The Liberals have been fighting and losing against the province of Alberta in court about the federally imposed carbon tax and the feds with all the tax dollars of all Canadians in their pockets to fight are appealing their loss in Alberta all the way to the Supreme Court because why not? And who could forget how the Liberals have been fighting veterans in court over veterans benefits because if you listen to Justin Trudeau explain the issue, those veterans have been asking for more than we as a nation can give them. And you know what the government told Warkington? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Look at this response. A response to the question could disclose personal and solicitor privileged information. The Liberals are claiming solicitor client privilege, but admitting the bulk totals of Cash dollars frivolously wasted by the Prime Minister and his cabinet on outside private lawyers doesn't divulge any privileged information at all, nor does it explain why in-house government lawyers weren't the best people for the jobs, especially coming from a government that seems to operate from the default position that anything the private sector does, well, the government can definitely always do it better. This order paper question didn't ask for any legal arguments to be disclosed. This is absolutely ridiculous. It's especially ridiculous though because we do know some specifics about sometimes the government uses their unlimited resources to hire outside lawyers to fight their legal battles on their behalf. For example, we do know that Ottawa spent $110,000 in legal fees fighting a First Nations girl over $6,000 in dental procedures. A First Nations girl needed braces to avoid jaw surgery later in life, so her mom applied three times under the First Nations and Inuit Health Benefit Program and was denied by the feds three times. Look at this. Between January 2016 and April 2017, the government spent $110,336.51 in legal fees as part of its fight to avoid paying for the procedure. The final cost will likely be higher as a decision on this case was not handed down until May. And we also know that Justin Trudeau spent $131,000 on federal lawyers over what seems to be a weekend. In a failed attempt to block Rebel News and our friends over at True North from attending the federal leaders' debates in the last elections campaign, just look at this. A federal judge called the government's action against Rebel News Network Limited and True North Center for Public Policy, quote, troubling, unreasonable, and procedurally unfair, end quote. By the way... A judge ordered the federal government to pay our legal fees because we had to hire lawyers to work nonstop all weekend to get us into those debates when we never should have had to in the first place. And to date, the federal government is refusing to fork over the dough like a bunch of deadbeat debtors. 
Somehow, it was okay for the Fed to reveal some legal amounts, just piecemeal, including how much they spent fighting to keep rebel news out of the federal leaders' debate, but not how much they are spending now on lawyers to prosecute Ezra for writing his book, The Lebranos. I mean, come on, some lawyer is going to be paid very big bucks to open that envelope and take control of our very super duper top secret planning documents for Ezra's book. And we deserve to know how much that amount is since we're all paying the bill. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunreed. If you like this video, and let's be honest, you probably did, be sure to like it and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring that little bell to make sure that you're notified when we upload something new. And while you're at it, why don't you head over and check out our new website at rebelnews.com. There you can become a subscriber to what we call Rebel News Plus, where you'll get access to all of our full-length shows as well as my own weekly show, The Gun Show. That's at rebelnews.com slash subscribe.